be back. Green villager, what what's going on? <laughs> I'm looking to you. Bodies everywhere. This one is glad waking one is safe. Oh no. I'm like, I'm a healer, can't I heal them? <laughs> we'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Like, literally, right before I came back. <laughs> Do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! Oh no! for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Bring her forth, and you may yet know mercy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Confound it. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Conditions? There speaks the supreme sire. I'll grant you have courage. But you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. Because I'm literally so still out there where Titan is. <laughs> Idiots. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. No. Wow. Rude. No. Conditions of surrender. Deny. Yeah, this guy around hell to be him, but for so. Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. I said enough!
No purse. We leave. Bring the prisoners. Here he's stabbing them, yeah. No, well, now he got shot because he didn't listen. But still, heavy hands. Walking, walking when Natalia asks this one to. I heal her. I'm literally a white mage. <laughs> In case walking one re returned, this one was to say, to say, a church. In Eastern Thalan, Walking One must claim sanctuary. This one tried, tried to protect Walking One and Philia from Imperial ones. Forgive this one. Save. Me here, like, we're literally a white mage, Monchai. <laughs> Could I be have, like, healed? Healed her. <laughs> Can we have healed her and then us talk? Like alive, you be alive. <laughs> Sag. Once. Raise you, <laughs> the famous. Sag. Our once home is now a murder house. You call it me. Oh, Chica. Feels bad, man. Is something troubling you, my child? You have the look of one that. Who has endured great suffering? If there is anything I can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. What will you say? Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. <laughs> Curse my enemy's father, called down divine vengeance upon those who butchered my friends. The wild roses are dead, father, and I know not what to do. At least that last one sounds alright. The wild roses, I see. You may speak freely here. We are all friends in the silence. Oh, how could this have happened? And you were certain that Mithilia was among those taken by the Garleans? Let us pray you no know, further harm comes to them. You may stay here as long as you wish. It is the least I can do for a friend of Menphilius. I have known her since she was but a child. All do I recall the day of our first meeting. I swore then to do everything in my power to support her. And I will gladly offer this self, self same service to her brother and her sister, Science. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marquez, would you come here for a moment? Yes, father? Ninja. If you require assistance, pray speak with Marquez. He is a trifle shy, but I assure you he means well. I should explain, Marquez was, is a survivor of the Battle of Cartano. Alas, his experiences took a terrible toll upon his mind. He not taken 
Had we not taken him into our care, he would surely have to perish in the desert. Narquez, I want you to look after Thymine, do you understand? Yes, Father. Oh, look, he has a side quest. <laughs> Excuse me, Thymine. Do you have a moment? It concerns this broken coral log, which was found in the pocket of a man bought, brought here for burial. There's something familiar about it, but just what I cannot see. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the power up or tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Camp Dryboon in my steed to obtain a bull point chisel and a pair of needle nose pincers. They are often used by goldsmith, so perhaps me would be the best people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to foot the bill or take this coin purse that she covered. Well. A bold point chisel, you say, and a pair of needle nose pincers. Those things don't come cheap, you know. Balls, balls, I mean, yes. That should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business with you. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, there's Chica. <laughs> Chica spotted. Wow, look at all these side quests I could be picking up. <laughs> hmm, something occurs to me. Please wait here a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains mystery. How, how did I do it? These hands, my hands, they move with a mind of their own, definitely manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or certain uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Thymine. This was a mistake. Please give the oral log to Sister Elu Elunid, the man who once owned its it is currently in her care. I think it is best to be returned to him. It's a marketable skill though, maybe not out here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Good morrow to you, madam. Will you come to pay respects to this man? Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time? Mayhap they are more common in Garland Meld. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with, with all manner of amazing technologies. Marquez said that it belonged to the deceased? Oh dear. I don't suppose that owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But, mayhap, more importantly, how did Marquez manage to repair this device? I knew he had talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching, thatching rooms. He's murdered by numbers. <laughs> the body is just there. Yeah, because they're getting ready to bury him. <laughs> okay. New weapon. Oh, Monka W. Chica. <laughs> New weapon. I recognize you now, Thymine. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. 
I apologize in discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. Sag. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part may help you find closure. I guess this is a time where I can use, um, the beans. And when you hear an engine, it's like, you know, it's Chica. <laughs> You don't look like one of them church fellas. Not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lich yard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. It was the stuff of nightmares. I tell you, God's damn Imperials. What? I, I literally went inside, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks, and I sure as hells don't know what to do. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't I seen you around before? Or do you just have one of them faces? Oh, huh, never mind. Hey, Rude. Does carriage come to haul the bodies um, to the lich yard out by the east gate? There's only eight left to load up, but seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying all the others, I might to leave the remainder to you. Might want to cover your nose while you're at work. Some of these folk are starting to turn. What? A oh. <laughs> Just fell in bodies with like the MSQ icon. <laughs> I see. Mokadori. <laughs> and there's a Chica. Chica did this with her tank. Oh man. That was bad. No, we're so friend. I don't get it. I don't know why we can't just raise them. <laughs> Trans transport them to Chica's freezers, welcome to me. <laughs> it was a thankless job. Wow, Chica. I hope, because there's only four, that that means everyone else that we don't pick up is not actually dead. <laughs> Are we carrying all of these, right? That's, I thought we were going to have to do it individually, but they let us pick them all up. We're very strong. We got two people in each hand or each arm. What happened to big to the big fella? I oh, forget it. Just bring the next batch and toss them in the back. You know, like they'll complain if you uh, if you're rude. Wow, rude. Well, ain't you a strong one. Four in one trip. Reckon there is no need for me to lend you hand with the rest of them. Stay edge. Oh man, loading up our friends into the back of a carriage. The fallen self, the peppy hands. You died so young. And they trusted you in our hands and you died. She was just running over their bodies. <laughs> Come on, let's finish this before I die of old age. Rude. Aw, we got a special corpse. That was Batman, though. And that should be all of them. Thanks for the help. Reckon it won't be too long to deliver all the corpses to the chart. Even though, <laughs> see the engine in the background? <laughs> Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them um, that our work here is done. 
I see that you decided to heed my advice. I pray that in doing so you found some small measure of peace. The first carriage from Buster Bay arrived not long ago. We have begun preparing on your comrades for Burio. I handed the assurance, and I, I would like you to know that for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect and do everything we can to shepherd them to Thal's room. Haifa. Although we can perform rites for most of the science, there's one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to return this one to their, her people, the source of Little Solace. It is only proper that she be given into the care of the friends and family, so that they may mourn her to, in accordance with self traditions. And Sanj. I feel bad because they entrusted interested her to us. This one is surprised to see walking one in Little Solace. How can these ones assist walking one? Aww. About that... Guess. Neuraxia, but this one does not understand. Um... Lucio, this one has heard much wailing. This one would know what has caused such distress. Terrible news, Elder One. Awful news. Walking One has returned to Little Solace, but why? These ones have not requested further aid. Neuraxia, how did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once. So, not only Noraxia, but many Walking One's friends were lost as well. Sob, Noraxia. Noraxia went to Thalon to behest this one. Behest of this one. Walking One was with Noraxia at the end. Tell this one that Noraxia was brave. Tell this one that Noraxia did not suffer. Like, the, the, Noraxia did kind of suffer with the roundhouse kick. And this one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Noraxi home, Walking One. These ones also wish to thank Praying Ones. How Praying Ones, these ones will remember their, this kindness. This one demands vengeance. Imperial Ones must pay. Imperial Ones must suffer. When the time comes for Walking Ones to face Imperial Ones, do not forget these ones. These, one will, these ones would not have Noraxia's death be for naught. These ones will fight. We thank you for your service to the church and the souls. You may be pleased to know that in your absence we interred the remaining silence in the lichard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends? If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please take a rest and set aside your burdens for now. Feels bad. <laughs> the body's still there. <laughs> they had to take a break. Uh, I'm not imagining it, Daimi. I know I'm being watched. This is different, Sinister. It is as if I am under observation. It only comes and goes, but I felt it when last I ventured outside. Yes, I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me, please? It will only take a, m a moment. That song. That somebody's watching me song just popped in my head. And it was Chica watching. <laughs> I found it. I found your culprit. <laughs> the watcher was Chica. Oh. <laughs> Get him, Chica. I forgot to call popcorn.
Good job, Chica. Good job, Chica. Good job. You were attacked, weren't you? Are you unharmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. He was watching me. But why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he, perhaps, know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I, I need to think. Please allow me a moment alone. Wait. Father Elud... Elud? Must hear this. Will you tell him for me? It's important. I think others may come for me again. He's like... Literally right there. <laughs> it's like literally right there. You just tell him yourself. Heavens for offend. That such a thing should happen on holy ground? Do you have any idea who this man was? Do you notice anything distinctive about his garb or possessions? They don't talk to each other anymore. Especially after the incident on the island. This, this is Garland Steel, which means the man who was watching Marquez was. Make haste to Camp Drybone at once. We must summon the immortal flames before more Imperials come. Ooh, got new shoes. Oh. I'm gonna barge in. Oh, yep. <laughs> I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. Monchak? At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. Yes. I have come for you. You know, I was thinking that because, you know, he was good at mechanics, I was like, oh, is this guy going to be like a Sid? <laughs> and he is. The VA gets much better, Vitella? Okay. I trust, I trust. Same, yeah, right, Kelp? Same page. We, we had the inkling. I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg of you, leave us in peace. He begs. Wait. This is the roughest I... hour. <sighs> oh no. <sighs> yeah, Kel. Sid, Eorzea needs you. That's the same thing too, like a, like the peeking of his little um goggles as well. The Rome reborn Alpha Nod took their sassy sassy just slider and cranked it all the way to Max. It. Here, these belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. Mm -hmm. It is time for you to help those who truly need you. Give him real quick. <laughs> Once he he found out, he's like, oh, I can't. Who? I can't hold these. Are you? Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes. 
as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction. Seeing help. Because <laughs> I read it as off and on, but he says off and on. Leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. She was pretty... she was pretty strong in Final Fantasy XV, so... I don't doubt it. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. I... I have an airship? I was like, wow, okay, this dude, he has like amnesia and stuff, and you're already forcing all this stuff on him. <laughs> Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. Hi, Luxie. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. And that's where I'm from. Uh, an, an airship? Uh, you sold your first airship. clothes, Batella? Batella fashion? That's what you were saying too, Fly. I know, it's like, poor Sid. He, like, barely learned who he was. Like, he has amnesia. All just throwing all this info at him. <laughs> oh, wait. Is he gonna suddenly remember? remember he's like wait a minute well, let, there's clothes in here let me change <laughs> come let us put an end to the primals together we will show the world that the scions are still a force to be reckoned with that was that was really quick our quick recovery <laughs> They need my airship. They need... This is a little me. weird, <laughs> to be honest. Because <laughs> he's just like... Also, you know, just comes in and is like, hey, you have an airship and you're Sid. And then he's... He's first, he's like really confused because he doesn't know. Because his memory is not there. And then like... <laughs> he like just folds so easily. Just like... They need my airship now. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> the writing not so good on this part. <laughs> when a curious twist of fate, that Master Sin Garlon would at last be found within our church and defy his imagination. Beg your pardon, Thymine. You wish to find his airship, yes? I know how much the truth there is to it. Not- wait. I know not much truth there is to it, but- there is a tale known as the final fight of the M Enterprise, which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity, much like the great Gubu Wall of Volta. It states that the em 
enterprise flew northwest from Gridania towards uh, Korthas. If true, the airship would have passed through the North Shroud, likely over Fallgord Float, the closest settlement to Karthas. Mayhap the Serpent stationed there would have records of events that transpired that day. I had hoped you might rest from your journey for a time, but I see that the world still has need of you in the silence. Pray look after yourself instead, I mean.